working with Sally J. This morning, I have got seven chocolate Swiss roll cakes that I need to make. Um, if you've been following me, I've been leading up to a platter that I'm making for our board members. And um, so I like to have a log in the center and the candies that I make or the little treats that I make around the log. So the treats are kind of easy because, you know, you're going to make them, you got to make make seven chocolate rolls. Yeah, it's going to be a full morning and a messy morning. So what I'm going to do is, of course, show you the first two. And I'll continue making throughout the day, but I'm not going to sit here and make seven in front of you. Aren't you happy with that? Okay, um, now this recipe also calls for, um, for the filling in this recipe, it calls for cream cheese, Powdered sugar, butter, and um, vanilla. We're not going to do that filling for a couple of reasons. I like my whoopie pie filling, which if you made my whoopie pie, you'd make that filling. Um, second reason to do seven eight ounce cream cheeses is kind of pricey. So I try to give quality, but I try to keep the finances in a good spot too so um, yeah I don't want to use seven cream cheese and not everybody likes cream cheese I do and maybe one day I'll make this for here which I never have but maybe I will make it for here and I'll try that cream cheese filling but for my recipe for what we're going to do today we're using the whoopie pie filling also on the top of the log it calls for a ganache which we're not going to do and I'm not going to give you that recipe um, you can look it up on Pinterest if you want to try that recipe. What I like to do is take a, I take this and I put some powdered sugar in it and I just sprinkle it over to the log to make it look more Christmassy. Um, it's got plenty of chocolate, the fire buys me anyway, so I'm not putting the chocolate on it. Okay, so we're going to get started with this. you're understanding I am making this double because like I said I've got seven so the actual recipe I'm going to tell you but if you're paying attention to my measuring cup you're going to think she's crazy she's got double of what she's saying well yes I do because I want to make two at a time because I really don't want to be in the kitchen all day all right so you're going to need a half a cup of flour and you're going to need a fourth a cup of worried about the way you break eggs. I've just done it this way so many years that I don't have issues with it. Um, break them however you're comfortable with. If you need an egg breaker, do it. I just whack it over the bowl and be done with it. Okay. Four eggs, two tablespoons of melted margarine, and one teaspoon of vanilla.
you doing like three separate bowls for things, it's not necessary to do that. I've made this before and it's a lot more time consuming if you do that. Okay. I will tell you the correct the correct way that they say. They say in a medium bowl, whisk your flour, powder, cocoa, baking powder, and salt. Mix that till it's combined. In a supper bowl, do your eggs and your sugar together and whip that up fine and then, uh, then add them together and then add your butter and your, put it all in the bowl. Beat it, it's all the same. Now where I'm doubling everything, um, I am gonna put it in a measuring cup because I really need to know that it's divided in half. So we got our pans here. So your jelly roll pans, and I did measure these, need to be 10 or 15 by 10 by an inch. So 15, 10, and an inch deep. I always freak out that I'm not going to do it. This is just right, but it always works out. And you're going to need parchment paper. I do want to measure it out though because I do want to make sure it's exactly half and half. So I'm thinking probably. So this is not going to be a thick, thick um, cake because it's, it's supposed to be spongy. Yeah, I was right. I usually am. No, I'm not always right. Pan should get a cup. And you're just going to spread it out in it. Oh, yeah. Pretty close. just a little bit left in my bowl and I just will put it in this pan. guys, this seems very thin. But we'll see.
them before, and they weren't. these in the oven and pray that it works because I don't want to do this more than I could. So I think I will wait on making more until I see how these turn out. Okay, so we're going to put them in the oven for 350 at 350 for 11 minutes. Ooh. Okay, 11 minutes. You need to prepare a tea towel um, and you need to put sprinkle, it says a couple tablespoons of powdered sugar. I just put some in your thing and kind of sift it over it. It's just to help it not stick. Um, Carefully lay it out on the towel. So <laughs> I never can do it carefully, people. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to bend my car. While the cake is still hot, you do need to take the parchment paper off it. And it's a slow process, just like if you work with a cricket and are trying to weed letters and all that. to gently roll it up. So your towel can be in it, I think. Yeah, your towel needs to be in it so it will unroll. And I'm just, I'm going to leave it sitting there for right now, but I'm going to put it on my dining room table. Okay, so it's not been quite 11 minutes, but these ones are coming out pretty good. So, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to do this again. Now, the only reason why I'm showing you this a second time is because the first time, one of them burnt a little bit on the bottom, scorched a little bit. 
So when I come to mix up the rest of mine for the other cakes, I decided just to put a, do the six batches right in my bowl just to do it. Get it done and I'll work out as a pan. And um, I made sure it was just exactly a cup and I took my time spreading it so there's not going to be any holes. Um, and I wanted to make sure the older pan that I didn't scorch it again. So I put that in on this side of the oven to keep an eye on it. But these ones look awesome. And I will say I'm happy with that. And having the wax paper, parchment paper, an inch above the pan, you're supposed to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this over. This pan is older and they'll cook faster on the bottom, so you need to keep an eye on it. <clears throat> and I tend to want to rush stuff, just like I don't mean to, but. with the um, parchment paper again. And now this was the pan that was older and this was the pan that I scorched before. Come on in. Look how, look how nice. Voila, perfect. I'll be right with you. And here's the next one. I'm glad I made six because out of the first one that I showed you, I was able to save one. The second one I'll probably leave for here and we'll eat out of it. And then you're just going to take your towel, roll it up at the short end, and set it on a Which means most of the morning I've been cooking these silly logs. Um, then I did take a break this and I went had dinner and then I come home to finish up and it's like I just want to go to bed it's only 20 to 4. Okay so I want to show you what not to do. The first two um, the first batch that you saw me mix up I thought something was funny with the batter, it just didn't seem wet enough and whatever. But I still did it and this one I said, well I'm not going to use it because it's a little dark on the end anyway. Well look at this, there's nothing I can do with this, nothing, nothing, so it was wasted. So I enrolled the second one of that grouping, I will tear it apart and save my dishcloth. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Just lovely. All that work for nothing. So, um, of course, I had to make enough for seven, so I had to make another batch. I had just made enough for two at that moment. And I decided, you know what? I'm not fooling around with two, 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 two. I had six more to make, so I just put everything in the mixer for all six. And that really worked good. I think what happened was, and I know there's powdered sugar, and you'll find out why that's there in a minute. Um, I think what happened is I was too busy chatting and talking and putting my ingredients in the first time that I only put in four eggs, and that's what you needed for one batch. And I was making two batches. Everything else I had doubled, but I think I only put in four eggs, and so that's what happened. So anyway, the other eight and don't ask me how I got eight out of the next batch but I did 
Um, I just lost my whole train of thought. I'm so sorry. Eight. <laughs> so I did those, and I've already filled those ones. I do want to talk to you about the filling for a minute, but I just wanted to show you about the unrolling part. Um, I told you that the filling I was going to use is my whoopie pie filling, which I will give you that for the recipe. Um, but I didn't bother having you see me make it. It is on my Cooking with Sally J whoopie pie video. And if you want to see it made, just go there. And the biggest reason I didn't want to go through all that is because I was making enough filling for eight, which took a lot of eggs. And it took four and a half cups of Crisco. I was like, oh my word, this is so crazy. But again, you gotta think, yeah, I was just making the eight, so I wanted that filling. So here's my filling. We're gonna do the last one together. So we just unroll it. And I will tell you, I have made logs before, but I must have used a different recipe. This has been the best yet. I don't have any problems with the rolling and the filling and the rolling back up. It's awesome. Okay, so it's unrolled. And you're gonna take, it's gonna be a cup of filling. I'm not, um, I've been noticing for a long time that bread and potato were not friendly to me. And I had a really good steak and cheese sandwich today at lunch. But the bread has hit me like somebody gave me a drug to go to sleep or something. Like, and there was so much more I wanted to do today, but it's probably not going to happen. Okay, so then what you're going to do with your filling is you're just going to spread it out. Nothing difficult about that. I'm really glad <laughs> I didn't go with the cream cheese route because one thing of cream cheese, it's not quite $2, but it's close, times uh, seven or eight, that's $16 just in the cream cheese. That's not counting the powdered sugar was almost 18 cups for this. It's like, I was glad I went this route. It was a bit cheaper and it's just as yummy. And you just, you start at that end that had rolled and you just roll it. And bring it together right there in the seam. If there's some that leaks out of the seam, you just pull your paper, your paper towel, just pull your dish towel tight and it, it will pull right away from it. I'm telling you, I always had trouble with it pulling away. This has been the best. What I was going to say also is if it leaks out of the seam, just take your spatula and just whoosh, get out. So what I'm doing for my display, I like to have platters. I couldn't find any platters anywhere, but you know what? This actually is going to work for me because some of the board members, why keep thinking I want my platters back when I never want my platters back. So this, they'll know they can just throw it away, but it still looks kind of nice. And I don't know, one of my videos I said, I wish they'd come out with parchment paper that's already cut. Well, guess what? I found some in a bag that's already cut. So I'm just gonna lay that on top of this or a platter or whatever you got. I'm gonna lay that on there. Okay. And I'm gonna, hmm. Okay, so now what we're going to do, um, one day I am going to invest in a 
smaller one of these. I have had the kind that you, and they break apart. I like this better. Uh, but I do need a little bit of a smaller one. And I'm just going to go over the top of my log like that. And you do as much as you want or as little as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just to make it take a little bit of frosting and go over the top. I should have done that first. Maybe if I do that. So I'm just putting a little frosting over the top. I don't want a lot. I just want enough so that I can put some sprinkles on it. Just to make it look a little Christmassy. wider if you wanted to. I don't know. Um, okay, so then I don't know what videos I put up yet or not because I haven't put any up yet. But these here are my uh, coconut kisses or coconut peeps that I've made. And I figure out five a board member. So I just set them on the plate. These here are my, got to think about it, oh those are the same thing, those are the coconut ones, I don't want them in, okay these here are my fudge ones, not my fudge, my uh, peanut butter squares. And I don't know why I think five. I just, that's just what I do. <clears throat> this here is the fudge. makes a nice little gift. Um, you know, I, I think about the board members when I'm doing these things, and I appreciate them, and I have done this probably since our third year here, and I've been here 35 years, I think, maybe 36, 1980. recently, um, like within this week, my 
daughter, one of my daughters, texted me and sent me a little postcard that was sent to her husband, thanking him. Oh my goodness, you know what? I might cry. <laughs> it's been one of them weeks where I cry about a lot of things, but it's all good. But just kind of giving him a pat on the back for the good job he did Sunday on the job he was doing, but also for the kind of dad that he was. And um, it does, it touches my heart when God blesses my children. Um, but the thing is, I wrote my daughter and I said, getting a pat on the back is like getting a hug right straight from heaven. And I don't know where that came from, but it's my quote. Um, and it's so true that just stuck in my heart, you know, sometimes we don't um, tell somebody we appreciate them enough. Um, and sometimes all, it doesn't even have to be a lot. It can just be just going up to them and saying, hey, I noticed what you did today. Um, you don't need it all the time. I am not one of those people. We all need affirmation at one time or another, but really, I don't want it every time I turn around because it gets old. But every now and then, it's nice to hear you've done a good job or whatever. And it is, it's like getting a hug straight from God. So don't hesitate. If you feel uh, an unction sometimes, just out of the blue, tell somebody, oh, I think you did a great job today. Or even, I like your hair, a total stranger. Just tell them you like their smile. It's happened, if it hits your head, just do it. You'll feel better. And um, God will get the glory for it. So anyway, I don't know why I told you all that. Somebody out there might need to hear it. But anyway, this is my appreciation gift to our board members. There's seven of them this year. And <laughs> I'm thinking I should do some cookies and put them on there. But you know what? I'm going to be good. And this is this is good. This is what we're going to do. So again, we got our chocolate law. We've got um, fudge. We've got Jimmy Carter squares. We've got Oreo cookie balls. And we've got coconut enjoyed this segment with Cooking with Sally J, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, you can also find me, Cooking with Sally J, on my Facebook page where the recipes and the videos I put over there too. So, God bless.